I think they're some of the best bulls we've ever had. Well, I'm just getting that, that thickness in drawn down the bone, what we've been looking for. Yeah. And just a little bit more stretch in them as yeah, well. Yeah, a little bit more stretch. Um, a slight, very slightly big, uh, bigger frame. Like we haven't, we haven't aimed to make big cattle. The Glengown cattle are moderate and thick and meaty, and that's what we've yeah, when, when you look stuck over to. There, look at the and bone when, in those yeah, ones. when you look at them, they're just absolutely. Some of the bulls for this year are absolutely magnificent. And we're really keeping that good Angus head on them. Yeah, and by the same time, sticking to what we believe makes a good Angus. So, um, I think the bulls this year really show that. Plus, they show the background of the breeding of the cows as well. Plus, you can see how tough they are. You can see how tough they are. Been this exactly, year. It's, it's tough conditions for everybody. The Jupiter bulls are, there's, they make up nearly half the catalogue and they're just full of bone, muscle, really impressive. And the cattle. Raf Hingaya. Yeah, and the other side we really, really like is Raf Hingaya, J46. I'm really, J46, pleased, with, yeah. really pleased the way he's turned out. Yeah, he's bought that some abs. I mean, we've always had soft cattle, but he's he's taken it to another level, hasn't he? Yep. Um, there are only a few in the sale. We've actually kept one for ourselves. That's how highly we think of him. He'll be in our stud. Yeah, stud so sire. he's going to be a stud sire. Um, and then the two New Zealand bulls that we bought a couple of years ago, they've put that strength and power and they keep in. the quietness in them. Yeah, and they're all so quiet and, and that's, I mean, for everybody that's really important. That's number one, having a bulls around. Yeah, right. yeah. And we've also got some sons by uh, Premier Braveheart, age 46. We had some of them last year. And he's, his sons are like good, great all-round cattle. They fit in any commercial. Any commercial bloke like that. Yeah, us. yeah. They're just really easy to handle, but they produce some top wieners. And I think, you know, it's something for everybody, don't you think? I think so, yeah. yeah. Definitely, if you want some stretch. With yep. some height. Yep. If you need to softness. put some, some grunt back into your cow herd because they're looking a bit fragile, these bulls will do the job. So what makes Blengown cattle different from everybody else? Well, it's all our different genetics we use from New Zealand. And it's given us, um, it's given us a fantastic female foundation, apart from the fact that, that the females have been going for, the bloodlines have been going for over 60 years. It's, it's that New Zealand thickness and softness. And the New Zealand cattle are also really, really quiet. And I think that that comes through with our cattle as well, don't sure, you? Yeah, that's yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. Have quiet so, cattle. Yeah, quiet cattle and, and cattle that last the distance. I mean, New Zealand cattle are going up and down hills that we don't even see here. And, you know, they, they go for years, they do their job, they're no fuss cattle, easy to handle. And that's, that's what Glengown cattle are all about. So I do think that the main difference is genetic um, and the fact that it's been going for so long. I think the commercial herd is really one of the keys to the stud because everything we do in the stud translates back to the commercials. We use our own bulls and if they're not working in the commercials, if we're not getting good prices for our wieners, then we're not going to use those bulls. And that's the sort of that's what we bring to the to the clients as well. So we're using the same bulls they are. So we know what the results are and I think it's really important to actually test the bulls out. A lot of studs are just studs. Whereas at Glengown, you know, we've got to live with the consequences of our breeding decisions as well. And I think, that's, I think that's really important for the client to know that we're doing what they're doing. So we hope to see you here at Glengown on Thursday the 13th of September. The sale kicks off at one o'clock, but inspections are open from 10.30. Um, we'll have a barbecue running, uh, open fire, sheds undercover. So please come along, give yourself a break from the drought, have a chat, look at some cattle. Look so, forward to seeing you then. Look forward to seeing you then.